students welcome to our video lecture in the previous lecture we had done up to sum number 27 i suppose so now today we will complete questions 28 to 39 and complete the exercise 7.2 now students i told you that you must be very very well versed in the formulas without formula students we won't be able to work so students be very careful that you are very thorough with the formulas now students i'm writing five questions at a time exercise 7.2 question 28 integral cos x upon square root of 1 plus sin x dx okay then question 29 integrate cortex into log of sin x dx then question number 30 integrate sin x upon 1 plus cos x dx then 31 integrate sin x upon 1 plus cos x the whole square dx then 32 integrate 1 upon 1 plus cos x dx okay then i write 33 also integrate 1 One minus ten x dx. Okay, students. So let us do this set of sums. The logic behind the method of substitution, students, I am discussing repeatedly since last three lectures. Once again, students, I am reminding you about. the logic of method of substitution it is only one one statement suppose such a term in the integral whose derivative can be rearranged in the sum now students pay attention what is derivative of sin x definitely cos x students as such there are two motives behind the method of substitution first is to convert the given integrand into standard form and the second motive is to rearrange the derivative of the term which is supposed so students if i am supposing 1 plus sin x is equal to t then dt by dx will be nothing but cos x therefore dt is the replacement of cos x dx so the value of integral is i is equal to 1 by t into dt so this becomes t to the power minus half dt integration of x raised to n is students x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so this will be twice Plus minus one by two plus one is one by two. One upon one by two is two. So the final answer is twice root one plus sine x plus this is the word answer students. So this method of substitution is very easy students. Once the concept is very clear, the method of substitution is students very very easy. Once your concepts are absolutely clear. Okay, now I have two terms in product in the question number twenty nine. One is cot x and other is log of sin x. Students, we don't have any formula to integrate log at present. At present, I am talking about. We don't have any formula to integrate log. So how? We should proceed. If I suppose t is equal to log x, let t be log of sine x over here. 
So what is dt by dx? All of you know the derivative of log fx is 1 upon fx. So 1 upon sin x. And derivative of sin x is nothing but cos x. So dt is the replacement of cot x dx. So the value of integral is t into d integration of x is x square by 2. So the answer is 1 by 2 log sin x the whole square plus c. Very simple students. Now there is a slight difference between these two questions. Question number 30 and question number 31. In 31 we have only linear terms. 1 plus cos x raised to 1 is here the square. So let t is equal to 1 plus cos x dt by dx is minus sin x. So minus dt is the replacement of sin x dx. So this integral changes to minus dt upon t minus constant integration 1 upon t is log of t. So the answer is minus of log of 1 plus cos x plus x units. In the integrand of sin cos, Generally, we suppose a term which is in the denominator. Generally, derivative of cos is in terms of sine, derivative of sine is in terms of cos, but derivative of cos has a negative sign that we cannot forget. Same way here, if I suppose t is equal to 1 plus cos x, it is same if I am writing directly minus t is sin x dx. So the value of integral is minus dt upon t square. So minus of t is to minus 2 dt. So the integration is t inverse upon minus and minus minus becomes plus. So 1 1 plus cos x plus c is the answer. So students, now I suppose all of you are familiar with the method of substitution students. After this immediately we are going to do the chapter of differential equation. Keeping pending chapter 8, we are going to do immediately chapter 9 because chapter 9 and chapter 8 are thorough revision of integration students. So unless and until you are very very thorough with integration students, this will not work out. So pay attention. Now students in the sum number 32, it is 1 upon 1 plus cortex dx and in sum number 33 it is 1 upon 1 minus 10x dx. We cannot suppose here any term because its derivative cannot be rearranged. Yes or no? If I am going to take cortex is equal to t or 1 plus cortex is equal to t then it will not help me the reason is students because derivative of cortex is minus cos x square x and here derivative of tan x is x square x which I cannot really the sum so the easiest thing is to convert this into sin x so this is sin x upon sin x plus cos x Yes. Come on. Now students, what shall we do? Come on, think students, what can be the next step? I have converted this into cos upon sine, so this becomes sine x upon sine x plus cos x. So now what should we do? Even if I am supposing cos x is equal to t, I won't be able to do the sum easily because the sin x term will be replaced by under root of 1 minus cos square x. And that will altogether make our integrand more complicated. So what to do with this type of sum students? What to do? Then the easiest way is to rationalize the denominator. What is the easiest way students to do this type of integral? Rationalize the denominator. 
meter. So I can write this as 1 minus cot x upon 1 minus cot square x dx. Okay, I have rationalized. Come on, students. If I am rationalizing the denominator, still, students, do we have any formula for 1 minus cot square x? No. Because 1 plus cot square x is cos x square x. We don't have any formula for 1 minus cot square x. So again, students, the problem persists here. So in this type of integral, there should be some specific approach. Students, can you think of what can be the specific approach in this type of integrals? Students, I am taking some different approach to explain this integral. So students, please be careful. First approach was to convert this into sin cos. Now in that case, we have sin x upon sin x plus cos x. We can rearrange the variable in students. So all of you, if you pay attention here, even this approach is not working. Because if I rationalize, I will get in the denominator 1 minus cos square x. We don't have any formula for 1 minus cos square x students. We have a formula for 1 plus cos square x. So I was just explaining. Rationalization will work. Then what can be the approach? Students, then what can be the approach? Our approach was exactly like when we did the first conversion of cot into cos and sin. So I write this as sin x upon sin x plus cos x dx. For the time being, I am erasing question number 3. Students, just try to understand what approach I had taken students earlier and why students I took the second approach was just to explain you that the next immediate approach which could come to your mind was rationalization but it didn't work. Now, what is derivative of sin x plus cos x? It is cos x minus sin x. So, observe this step. I am writing this as sin x plus cos x plus sin x minus cos x upon sin x plus cos x dx which this step you should observe I have multiplied by 2 because this becomes twice sin x so I have to divide by 2 so it is 1 by 2 integration sin x plus cos x plus sin x minus cos x adding and subtracting cos x and sin x plus sin x becomes twice sin x Easily multiply and divide by a constant. In integration, we can easily multiply and divide by a constant. Why this is done? The answer is here. This is converted to a standard form. On individual division, this becomes 1. And this becomes 1 by sin x minus cos x upon sin x plus cos x. So derivative of sin is cos and derivative of cos is minus sin. Derivative of sin is cos and derivative of cos is minus. Okay, so I write this as 1 by 2 integration x plus 1 by 2 and taking minus sin common. This becomes cos x minus sin x upon cos x plus sin x. Yes. Now, sir would have explained you this f dash x upon fx dx is log fx plus c. Remember this at the bottom. Integration of f dash x upon fx dx is log mod fx plus c. I can say take t is equal to sin x plus cos x. This will be its derivative. So this answer is written as 1 by 
by 2x minus 1 by 2 log sin x plus cos x plus c. Students, I can very well take this as t and do the sum, but I am applying this formula. I think, sir, we have discussed this type of formula especially by this time in basic 3 4 lectures. So, we have discussed. Otherwise, take t is equal to sin x plus cos x, so you get the same answer. So, why students, I showed you the approach of rationalization. Rationalization will work in 1 plus sin x and 1 minus sin x and 1 plus cos x and 1 minus cos x because we have a formula of 1 minus sin square x and 1 minus cos square x. But we don't have a formula for 1 minus cos square x and 1 minus 10 square x. So that we have to remember. That is why we are deciding the sum in slightly different approach. So now you will never forget that in this type of sum students, the rationalization is not working. In this type of sum students, the approach of rationalization is not working. Now, students, I am doing sum number 33 and 34. So, mark 32 is very important short sum. Now, students, sum number 33, integral of 1 upon 1 minus 10x. 1 upon 1 minus 10x dx. Then, sum number 34, this is also a very interesting sum, root of 10x upon sin x into cos x dx. Then I am writing student sum number 35. Integral of 1 plus log x to whole square 1x. 1 plus log x to whole square 1x. Ok students. So, all of you pay attention. Again, okay, same approach. This will be cos x upon cos x minus sin x dx. Adding and subtracting sin x 1 by 2 cos x minus sin x plus cos x plus sin x upon cos x minus sin x dx exactly the same sin minus sin and plus sin gets cancelled and twice cos x I have multiplied and divided by 2 here also I can show now take individual division so the first integration is 1 dx plus 1 by cos x plus sin x upon cos x minus sin x dx. Now, in this integral, I am taking d is equal to cos x minus sin x. So, dt by dx will be minus sin x minus cos x, taking minus sin common. So, minus dt will be sin x plus cos x into dx. So, this will change to x by 2 minus 1 by 2. This will be minus dt upon t. So, minus 1 by 2 log of t. t is cos x minus sin x plus c. Or I could have used the other way, the formula which I used in the previous sum. Ok students, now this is very interesting students. I multiply and divide by cos x in the denominator. Observe this step. Observe this step. What I have done, multiplying 
and dividing by cos x in the denominator. In the denominator, you multiply and divide it by cos x. So this changes too. How drastically the sum changes? Root tan x bar upon cos square x is x square x and sin x upon cos x is tan x. So this changes to x square x upon root tan x is now easily I can suppose t is equal to tan x because derivative of tan x is x square x. Therefore, dt is equal to x square x dx. So this value of integral becomes dt upon root of t. So this is t is to minus half into d. Its integration is twice root t plus t. Twice root t is what? Tan x plus t. So by this time, students, you would have already understood that rearrange your integral in such a way that you can suppose derivative can be adjusted and the integral can be converted into a standard form. Now, students, sum number 35, you know, derivative of log x is n by x. So I am supposing t is equal to 1 plus log x. Therefore, dt by dx is 1 by x. Therefore, d is equal to dx by x. So, the value of integral is t square d t integration of t square d t by 3 and take t as 1 plus log x the whole cube plus c. This is our answer students. So, if you have any doubt in question 32 and 33 students, you can call me personally and discuss with me. But I don't think now students you should have any doubt in this type of sums. Okay students, now we are doing questions 36, 37 and 38. The next set of questions. Now, the next two questions and write my students. It is x plus 1 integral of x plus 1 into x plus log x the whole square divided by x dx ok this is the question question 37 integrate x cube sin inverse sorry sin of tan inverse x raised to 4 upon 1 plus x raised to 8 dx ok then students will do the two MCQs Okay, students, how do you do this sum? Say I can write this as x plus log x, the whole square, and x plus 1 by x is written as 1 plus 1 by x dx. This too, I have taken with individual division, x plus 1 upon x. So if I suppose t is equal to x plus log x dt by dx would be 1 plus 1 by x. So dt would be 1 plus 1 by x into dx. So this changes to t square dt and this integration is t2 by 3 plus c 1 by 3. t is nothing but x plus log x the whole cube plus c this is the answer now again i am giving one master key for sum number 37 
students for sum number 37 and giving you a master key in 99.99% of the cases whenever we have a inverse term we have to suppose that so I blindly go for the inverse term which is nothing but tan inverse of x is to 4 so I am supposing d is equal to tan inverse of x is to 4 so dt by dx will be 1 upon 1 plus x raised to 8 and derivative of x raised to 4 is 4 x cube. Automatically students the term will be rearranged. So 1 by 4 dt will be x cube dx upon 1 plus x raised to 8. So the value of integral 1 by 4 outside sine of t dt. Integration of sine is minus cos t plus t. So minus 1 by 4. Cos of t is replaced by tan inverse of x raised to 4 plus. So now, students, I think it is crystal clear that in the matter of substitution, always suppose such a term whose derivative can be rearranged to the sum. Now students, we are doing MCQ, MCQ number 38 and 39. Now in MCQ 38, we are given the integrand S. Integrand 10 x raised to 9 plus 10 raised to x log 10 to the base e upon x is to 10 plus 10 is to x begins ok and sum number 39 integrate dx upon sin square x into cos square x now students, I think again the same formula I am applying integration f dash x upon fx dx is log mod fx plus c. Just now students I have you can say taught you the formula in sum number 32. So if I consider denominator as fx which is x is to 10 plus 10 is to x f dash x will be 10 x raised to 9 integration of a raised to x is a raised to x into log a to the base e so differentiation of 10 raised to x differentiation of a raised to x is a raised to x into log a to the base e so this is nothing but log mod fx See, this is the answer. Sorry, so students, I have to say the differentiation of a raised to x with a raised to x into log a to the base e. So, the correct option is d. Now, MCQ 39, students, MCQ 39 is very interesting. How to do the sum? The key lies here. Take one in the numerator. Instead of one, I can write sine square x plus cos square x upon sine square x into cos square x dx. Yes or no, students? Now, this is taken as individual division sin square x gets cancelled we have sin square x plus cos x square x and all of you know we have integration of sin square x as tan x integration of cos x square x as minus cot x plus c this is your answer so as per the option the answer is b b is the correct That's all. So students, we have very well understood the method of substitution. 
Now students in exercise 7.3 say I am doing first sum. Pay attention to this. For exercise 7.3 I am starting and I am doing the first sum. Exercise 7.3 first sum. Integrate sine square 2x plus 5. I want to demonstrate the use of that t replacement which I have taught. Check sine square x is replaced by sine square x is replaced by 1 minus cos 2x by 2. Therefore, sine square 2x plus 5 will be replaced by 1 minus cos of 4x plus 10 by 2. So the value of integral is 1 by 2 outside. 1 minus cos of 4x plus 10 dx. All those formulas in terms of ax plus b, integration of 1 is x and integration of cos ax plus b is 1 by a sin ax plus b. So 1 by 4 sin 4x plus 10 plus c. This is your answer students. So t replacements are very important which I have taught you from exercise 7.1. Students refer that t replacements very very perfectly. Then only students you will sum. Ok, second sum we are demonstrating. Sin of 3x into cos of 4x. Cos of 4x into sin of 3x dx. Simply multiplying and divided by 2. Because in integration we don't have product rule. So whenever terms are in product, we have to separate them in terms of addition or difference. What is 2 cs? S means s. Sin of 7x minus sin of x dx. What is integration of sin ax plus b minus 1 by a cos ax plus b plus c. This is your answer. So if I go for expansion and write this is minus 1 by 14 cos 7x plus 1 by 2 cos x here minus minus becomes plus. So the next exercise is based on all previous exercise, no new concepts, 2, 3 new formulas are there and we discuss and do the sums. So refer your exercise 7.2 very perfectly. Thank you students.